As I described earlier, DDL or data-driven learning is an approach to language learning that involves using authentic language data to develop learners' linguistic and communicative competence in the target language. The DDL activity I described in the previous video focused on function rather than form. In this video, I'll show how students' attention can be directed toward form. For example, using the same research article corpus, the teacher can ask students to find the verbs that occur in the passive voice in method sections of their research articles. Teachers can also direct them to look at the tense and aspect of these passive constructions. Some verbs that students may notice as recurring are use, design, test, and so on. They might also notice that these passive constructions occur mostly in the past tense in the method sections. The teacher can ask whether students think that the use of these verbs in method sections is unique. To answer that question, students can go to COCA and do a frequency search for common past passive constructions. For example, after selecting the list function, students can type in was into the search box, add space, and then select verb.en from POS or part of speech to search the participle form of the main verb. Since the register they're interested in is academic writing, they should select academic from sections. As a result of this search, they will see that the verb use is the most common verb that appears in the past tense passive. Students can then click on was used and further explore this form by examining concordance lines where the target form is highlighted in green. For example, they can see that was used appears frequently with the prepositions for or to, indicating a purpose. Another path for students to explore with COCA is the chart function that shows variations across disciplines. Students can enter the passive construction they are interested in, in this case was used, into the search box and click on the chart option. The chart option provides a menu of text types that COCA contains, including TV or movie dialogues, blogs, and fiction writing. COCA shows the findings about was used in a chart showing the differences in different types of texts. In the chart, they can see was used is most common in the academic section. So, they can see that their own analysis of the method sections of academic research articles supports this trend. If they then click on academic, they can also see the distribution across disciplines. As you can see, was used is more common in disciplines like medicine, education, and science and technology compared to humanities and history. Students can then click on each discipline and observe similarities and differences in the way their target passive construction, such as was used, is used in these different disciplines. This type of DDL activity, where students work with actual language data, can allow them to become more autonomous learners, meaning that they do not always need a teacher or someone else to teach them something. Instead, they can solve their language problems on their own, using technology tools like COCA. These skills are equally useful for teachers, who can get answers to their ongoing questions about language use.